what is up my dudes welcome to another video one of the first vlogs if i can put it like that here in the western cape we will be visiting other youtubers today massive honda guys see what they are up to see their cars maybe get a walk around maybe drive it we are also meeting up with subscribers on the channel taking their cars out to see what it's like this is just going to be a fun video revolving around the cape culture and the honda and youtube scene around cape town not sure if you guys can see it but look at that view it is absolutely stunning yeah i am enjoying it a lot i think i'll meet up with you guys once we get to the first youtuber I don't want to be vlogging on the road too much, the cops out here is hectic, so I'll see you soon. with Mr. Kurt Wong today from STM Wong Spec. We are picking up parts for the Honda which I'm probably not going to show you guys in this video. We'll do it in the next video but I'm going to do a quick walk around with Kurt on his car to show you guys what his car is like, EG. And then he supplies all the parts for the Hondas. I've bought a couple of things from him you guys would have known from previous videos. And the other thing that we picked up now, that's going to be the last parts so over December. We'll, re or we'll spray everything and then we'll be able to put them on the car. But let's do a walk around on this car. Cool, guys. So, I am Kurt Wong. Uh, my YouTube channel is uh, Wong Street to Track. Uh, the reason for me choosing that name is uh, when I initially bought this car, um, it was from the first owner. It actually comes from Victoria, where you are from. Um, the car belonged to an elderly guy, car stood in an old age home and um, he, he didn't have use for it. So I bought this car completely stock and I converted it to what I would say a track car. Um, I do track racing but only for fun, it's not really competitive etc. But yeah, let me give you guys a quick walk around on the car. I'll start off with this bumper which is actually notoriously known. This is an EG6 uh, front bumper which is the hatch. Um, it doesn't fit straight on these cars. I do sell them as well as I do offer the conversion as well to be done. Um, but yeah, for now, this is how the car is running. This is my OEM bumper. Got it, the car like this. Still the original color. SR front lip spots. Um, I have these washers as well. Um, they are not actually uh, functional right now, but I do have the kit to make it functional. Unfortunately, you'd have to drill in for that. This car is however B18, B3, um, I haven't done any really um, hectic mods to the car because I do still want to uh, perfect myself on the track before I actually uh, do uh, an engine swap or even do some heavily mods but as you guys can see um, it's a track based car. If we come to the side of the car, uh, spoon wheels, these are actually uh, Nippon Racing so they are original wheels but replicated from the spoon wheel. Nippon Racing is a company in uh, Indonesia I'd say. I wasn't actually aware of that but someone taught me a few things about this wheel. Moving over here, this I would say is a track mod. Um, if you actually pull this, um, uh, there's a cable that runs right through the car and if you move a little closer here, you will see that that will squirt onto the driver. I would say that's very necessary in terms of um, a flame or anything. Um, it's highly recommended. Um, got some spoon mirrors over here. It's also a very desirable mod. The seat over here that I have is extremely rare. I think it comes from the Mark IV Supra. Um, I, like I told you earlier, if it has the suede uh, section over there, that means that it's extremely rare. I do have a... Uh, Monte Carlo steering wheel and then if you guys check in the corner with it 
that is an original FN2 type R um, start button. I even had the key, which I cut off my key and then just basically kind of made it work. As you guys can see over here, roll cage. I do have a NOS setup. The NOS setup was mainly a childhood dream, but I was thinking forward and thinking it might uh, damage my engine. So I'm not quite sure if I'm going to completely set it up. I do have everything to do it, but I'm thinking of getting another engine before I go for that. I have a rear visor, the side visors. Uh, Nissan is a is a sticker. Uh, this is just a sticker, but um, for you guys who do not know, Nissan or Honda owns 46.7% of Nissan. So you guys will see this a lot on spoon cars, as well as on your calipers. There will be a little sticker that says Nissan on it. Moving back, uh, these over here, you basically press this and this whole thing gets removed. The reason for me kind of doing that is I want to maybe eventually have uh, a fuel, a fuel uh, cell or something like that in the inside. Um, then yeah, this is a kill switch as well in case of collision. Uh, this isolates a battery and obviously won't, yeah, it will help with, um, how can I say, uh, igniting any other flame that could have been gone on if there was an accident. Rear fog light, Stanley, these are actually very, um, how can I say, common in countries like Indonesia, etc. This is my OEM bumper. I do have another bumper over there with the diffuser that obviously helps with airflow, I would say. Um, I even went to an extent of actually cutting out this little area over here which means that air will flow through as well uh, helps with like for example any uh, air in the cockpit um, another thing I failed to mention this fenders was created by me um, I named it Wong Spec Fenders this is something I can offer you as well you give me a fenders I cut it out for you air flows through here and it runs out this way it obviously helps with uh, brake temperature and even if I do cut a hole through it, it can assist with um, cockpit, not cockpit, engine bay, um, how can I say, a little help with your engine um, heat as well. Yeah, and then another very rare part that I have is my twin loop Mugen exhaust, which you can't really see. Uh, that is why I have another pump here. So this is a twin loop Mugen exhaust. Um, how can I say it's very desirable, very rare part. However, this um, exhaust is mainly for the production Mugen cars. So eventually, when I do start doing mods, I might have to change the engine. Thinking of maybe going a spoon, spoon exhaust, whatever. Seeing that the car is mainly uh, a spoon theme, I would say. But yeah, that 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 is my car in a nutshell. And like Etienne says, um, I can supply you any part. You guys can check um, my catalog. Let's say, for example, there isn't something in the catalog that you're interested in. Send me a picture of it. I'll try to source it for you. The whole reason for STM is for me to create a market for you guys to source everything at one place. And if you guys did not know what STM stands for, stands for South African Domestic Market, like you would get JDM. And the whole idea with STM is so that we can grow as South Africans and show everyone our culture, the parts that we get. At the same time, I try to source parts from overseas, etc. Making it available for South Africans as well. So yeah guys, <laughs> that's about it, I would say. For those of you watching this video in time, I am hoping to see you at the meet and greet tomorrow, which is the 25th of November. We'll be hosting the meet and greet at N1 City. I'll post up the details on the screen right now. I will have caps available at the meet and greet. It's leftover stock, so there's not a lot. I think I have 15 caps available, so if you're looking for a cap, they will be for sale for 200 Rand each. First come, first serve, like I say, it is very limited. I only have about 15 available. Hopefully, I'll see you guys at the meet and greet. I am randomly chilling outside on the street waiting for two subscribers on the channel to come and pick me up we are going out for a drive I'll show you guys soon what we're gonna be driving this probably looks like a drug deal that's about to go down with me waiting on the street with two bags but I promise you this is going to be epic I'll show you guys what we're gonna drive real soon Thanks for coming to me. Yeah, it's a pleasure, man. How's it, Etienne? Nice to meet you, man.
then. Instagram handle srkid21 um, This is my centre, DT Technically not a DT, it's a SR20 DE plus a T So, turbo is extra on the car What's done to the car is basically um, Compression is lowered Slap the turbo and had a branch made for the car And it's not even a huge turbo You can check it's a smallish turbo It comes with a cold bucky Which was which is a hybrid now actually, everything has been changed on internally. The car is tuned by Jody, Jody van Scoor at JVS. Most of you guys know him with the, the red, super fast golf. So yeah, I trust him with my car and I'm very happy with it. So far, I haven't had issues. And the car is pushing 198 kilowatts and 400 newtons on JVS's dyno. So for me on 0.8 bar boost, it'll be enough fun. I'm happy with the car. I can't complain, <laughs> it's a good, Fun ride. B20 VTEC. Motor was built by Philips Auto Works. What's done to my car is obviously B20 bottom end. I have some ITR regrind cams in the vehicle. But it's also headwork done by the headmaster in Stuckland, if I'm not mistaken. Branch and exhaust. Um, the spray job on the car was done at Dent Expert. As everyone in the Western Cape knows, or well known on the race scene. Uh, Dent Expert, um, I have the car now about 5 years, car is tuned by Theo, used to work at KSD. Um, my power figures are 165 and 230 Nm. meters. We are visiting Shane from Light Light Customs. This is his daily. The yellow thing is back in there. For those of you who don't know, he's a big name in the Honda scene down here. He's got two Hondas and the yellow thing. I'm going to show you the yellow thing just now. His VTEC is unfortunately not here. It is at another place, but we will get to see it when we have the meet and greet on Thursday. So this is Shane from Late Late Customs. Nice What's to up? meet you, buddy. How are you? Nice to meet you, buddy, as well. Finally, uh, it's been a long time. Yo, bro, it's been a long time coming, but we're finally here now. Yeah, <laughs> at least. Give us a rundown on the yellow thing. I've always seen it on YouTube, never seen it, or first time seeing it in person, and it looks amazing. Let's hear what he's got done to it. So it's a, it's a product that has been coming on for quite some time. Um, if you guys obviously well, subscribe to my channel, you guys would know the rundown on the car. But just a quick rundown for you guys on CCD. It's a normal Mark 1 Golf, it's a 89 model Golf, 2 litre 8 valve, high comp engine, um, on air ride suspension, mild came in, branch and exhaust, um, got um, the colour, is a RS3 Audi yellow, and um, well, there's not really much to be said on the car, converted from old spec to new spec, the body is old spec, but everything else on the car is completely converted to new spec. Management, just a normal Polo Cup ECU, future plans on the car, well, not entirely sure, but I think I'll rather go the route with Etienne is the, the race the race vibe because I think that's the most entertaining. Backlight isn't really that much exciting to be honest. So 
I think I go the race route. I like how he's saying there's not much done to this car, but I've followed the progress over, I think it was two years. Two years, yeah. Two, two years, years yeah. from the day you picked this up, up until now, it is a completely different car. It looks <laughs> way different. <laughs> nah, thanks, it, man. it lives up to the name that it got from all the videos. It looks phenomenal. also out here I don't know who of you follows Mr. Late Late Customs but Jody's car is without a motor at the moment they got something up their sleeve I don't know these guys don't want to tell me the whole story <laughs> yeah they're laughing but yeah we'll see go and follow Late Late Customs I'll have everything linked down below you can go and check the progress on all of these cars down there I truly hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did like squat hit that like button subscribe down below I'll see you guys at the meet and greet tomorrow night at 7pm at N1 City. I'll throw the details up on the screen once again. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of the car culture down here. Everything I've got to show you guys. And if you haven't watched the Kalani video yet, I highly suggest that you go and watch it out. I'll link it up in this corner. It's a major hit on the channel at the moment, so I don't want you to miss out on that one. Go and check that one out. I'll see you tomorrow, bro. Peace out and reflect your passion.